This is Old Camp. And this is not a spring chicken today. We're going to be talking about. Uh, the the real reason behind the the nuclear option in the Senate, and it is not to keep people's attention away from Obamacare. Obamacare. No. What really is the reason? Okay, the reason is that they have already decided that Obama appointees and federal judges shall only have to have 51 votes. But as I just heard, they were just talking about there, he said everyone knows that it's also going to move over to mm -hmm. elections also. Uh, and and uh, so it will move to elections and, and, um, and, and legislation. That they will decide, the Senate decides, uh, you know, it's like if there's a, a problem in the Senate, they decide the election there. If they got two people that are dead tied, they go in and they decide it. They also, they said, uh, as Evan Bay said, he said it's just, he, he said that they don't even have to say that it's going to be changed. They've already changed the rules to 51 votes. It affects, it's going to affect elections, legislation, all judicial appointments, and uh, it gives the President of the United States the, the power then. He basically ignores the Constitution. If he controls the judiciary, that they can delay things from getting the Supreme Court while he's packing the Supreme Court, which they already tried that once before, but then as soon as the Republicans took control, they undid what they had Franklin Roosevelt was doing. Roosevelt had a 14-man Supreme Court at one time, and they undid that. They did that? Yeah. yeah. Well, they had a veto-proof majority on the next election after he did that. So why is all this important? Well, one of the reasons that we do in the United States have a Congress, which is a House, as well as the Senate, and the executive branch is so that change comes slow, it's deliberate. And it's what the people want. Right, versus what one party would like at the time. Yeah, so what happens is we now, with the nuclear option, he now has um, the control of the judiciary, control of the Senate, and basically control the executive branch, and he ignores the, the, uh, the okay, every, all, all financial bills are supposed to start in the House. Now they will simply be passed in the Senate, and they then ignore the, House. They ignore the House entirely. Which means you're going to get. Uh, they said you'll end up with immigration reform. You're going to end up with everything that the president and the left wants on their schedule. But um, the, the guy said, listen, the Democrats a few minutes ago, they said that actually he doesn't understand the reason behind this because he said that he's talked to people in the Senate and the House. They know. They're going to get slaughtered in one year. One year, which means... Well, they probably don't care. They figured they'll make all these changes within a year. And the, oh, But here's the thing is, they're going to like what we've done so much. We, like the other day, the, uh, the, the press basically ignored the, the takeover of the Senate by the Democrats by saying, well, this was, you know, that, uh, this was done for the good of the people. Uh, when the President of the United States basically had, had taken their powers away, in Washington, D.C. to cover the presidential events, the president's people said, well, this was done for the good of the people. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. they, what happened was the day before, they let something slide that was important, and once he had control of the Senate, he really doesn't give a rat's ass mm -hmm. about what the press thinks anymore, because he now controls the process in the country. But he only controls it for uh, a few months, because... The, well, actually, they'll just change it so they don't have to vote. Uh, that that they, they won't. That's not going to happen there. I mean, wow. the, okay. The president may, mainly knows as long as he controls the Senate of the United States, he cannot be removed from office. Why but the Democrats, have, because only the con a president can only be removed by impeachment. He cannot be removed by any other methods. Mm -hmm. He can basically rob a bank. Uh, he can basically turn the you know turn the nuclear secrets of our nation over to another country. Only the United States Senate can remove him from office. Mm -hmm. So therefore, if he doesn't want to be removed, an election has no effect on him. Mm -hmm. So, but he, he counted on the Senate. But now, he no longer. He, he, the Senate expects that they will lose control because of they are so outraged the people in this nation. Mm -hmm. The House is now mm -hmm. expecting to go. They're expecting veto-proof majorities, and he's going to have a judiciary that will soon find itself as. as they said there, the Democrats, they said that it's simply going to, okay, for every person that he's appointing to the left, the Republicans, when they take over the House and Senate, will add two to the right. Mm -hmm. So then the country swings for all of a sudden in a matter, my guess is... They'll the, swing from the left to the yeah, right. He, one of the Democratic senators said that he expects in the first 30 days 
the Republican Party, when they take over the House and Senate entirely, will undo. They will simply stop Obamacare entirely. They'll undo all his, all his reforms, everything, and they're going to go clean to the right because the moderates basically in the Republican Party just were, you know, they were finished off by uh, not supporting the right on Obamacare, mm -hmm. and then they got hit by the nuclear option, and they've got hit by a treaty that they're not going to be able to stop, which basically destroys Israel. And um, they were, they're, they're on the wrong side of their party, and they're on the wrong side of the entire country now. They stand with Obama. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, which is, which is nuclear. Nuclear, <laughs> yeah, but. Um, Chris Christie has no chance whatsoever of winning the Republican nomination. They're not going to put in, okay, it also eliminates, what do you think Bill Clinton, Bill Clinton said last night this was a mistake. He said the nuclear option was a mistake. He said that the treaty is a mistake, but because he's trying to protect Hillary's backside, but Hillary's finished. Because they are not going to go to someone, the Democrats will have to put up somebody that they think will go, that, that can convince people that they're in the middle like Obama supposedly did. But it's nobody that... Maybe they'll put in their daughter. Well, no. They, the, 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 it's going to have to be, it's going to have to be a non-Clinton and it's going to have to be a non-Obama. It's going to have to be somebody that is totally new, that, you know, like somebody that comes out of nowhere that is totally neutral for them to run that has no pass to go jump on. All he does is he looks good on television. Which is what they did with me, got Obama. Yeah. He didn't have, well, he had some past, but not much of a past. But somebody that doesn't need a teleprompter. Yeah. So they're they're looking for somebody young, uh, young, attractive, figurehead, figurehead, and then that way, if they do that, they think that if they can win the presidency with somebody other than a person to their extreme left, they can keep the Senate, mm -hmm. and then keep the left power going for at least another two years, but it, it's not going to happen because there's nobody on the left that, that okay, nobody out there in the, that looks like they're in the middle that the left can put up that people already don't know about. Mm -hmm. Republicans are going to put up a firebrand, it's pure and simple. What's a firebrand? That's somebody that basically, they're going to put up like a Rand Paul. Basically a guy that can come out there, doesn't need a teleprompter, looks well, good. Or that Ryan guy. Our Ryan, who basically also he's a, you know, he... he I would have voted for Ryan. Yeah, he was the wrong in the ticket. But they're going to go to somebody that can speak eloquently. Mm -hmm. And uh, and and just the whole trick is. But uh, most of the people, like a lot of people, I mean, Bill Clinton, I guess he's got to be pulled his hair out. He'd done everything he possibly could do for his wife. And, okay, remember, Obama throws everybody under the wheels of his bus. I know. Did they forget about that? No, happens. Forget. He's got a history of doing that. Yeah, he's also got, okay, Obama could never be a good poker player because here's what it is. You know that when he, okay, here it is, he's got he's got $100 on a table. All of a sudden he pushes $200 into the pot. They know he's got nothing. He doubled down every time he's losing. Yeah. So he could never be a good poker player by knowing a simple fact that if he pushes $200 in on your 100 he's got no hand. Mm -hmm. And you just call him and you walk off with the pot. Republicans, and Bill O'Reilly is the biggest offender. Bill O'Reilly has not been able to get it through his head that this guy doubled down. He's doubling down again with the nuclear option, figuring that he will be able to stave off Republican attacks for at least a half a year. Mm -hmm. uh, the problem is his thing yesterday, last night, recently, he's bringing the, um, the, the, everybody attacking him on his uh, on his basically deal. Okay, what happened was a few months ago he stopped the sanctions without permission on Iran. He had to make a deal to make the sanctions look acceptable now. So he did exactly what the Democrats in the Senate told him not to do. They're still going to vote on new sanctions this week. Oh, and then this morning, mm -hmm. the people that he had that they're all friends with this morning said they have no intention of giving up the enrichment of the enrichment and that the, the stopping of their plant just for six months and then they're going to restart again. Mm -hmm. So everything Obama last night, it just, it's a short term deal that, that just does nothing. They still continue to enrich, they still continue to build, they still intend to do everything and just give them six months with money coming in and no further sanctions. So, but um, like I said, that was. 
Now, the nuclear option was not a attempt to keep your attention away from <coughs> Obamacare. Like the, some people might have thought. The, the Bill O'Reilly and others figured that was the way it was. It was. It had strictly to do with seizure of the country for at least a half a year. But um, you will see, I, I did hear a person say, he said that we should be in the streets protesting this man like a civil rights movement. You can expect that the, if you protest this president, he will double down on you. Because he has all your phone messages, he knows where everybody's mm -hmm. at, and you guys are in big trouble. But if you don't, it's just them. Um, we're going to try something. Maybe, that the Walt Disney Company is known as a bunch of SOBs because they defend every inch of their turf to the very end, even if they know they can't win, they defend it. People on the right and the people independents have not been defending their turf. They have simply been giving ground. Yeah. And the Obama administration expects you to continue to give ground. You mean it'll be like uh, the Republicans dealing with Obama is like Obama dealing with Iranians? That's right. So they uh, they give up before they even start. But like, uh, and then what else would you like? Yeah, what else do you want? Because they've got they've got uh, half a dozen senators that will agree to almost any spending program Obama wants to do. So it's uh, if you just advice that um, the guy is in control. He's created. He said most of the people do agree that this is the first king, and they're not calling him dictator. They say this is the first king in this nation's history. What's the difference between that? King and a dictator? Um, dictators only get tossed out one direction, kings get tossed out others. <laughs> so, uh, but the Democrats, here it is. If he dam continues to damage the party, they will impeach him. It's that simple. Mm -hmm. the, uh, there's too many senators, there's 14 of them that are in trouble. And if he continues to hurt the whole party, they right now expect to lose the majority in the party. But they don't want it to be a supermajority. And that's what they're trying to hold out on. But if he's put 14 senators in danger and the Republicans could take all those seats and hold the others, they have an ungodly supermajority. Yeah. So that's what they're afraid of. And uh, they also know the Obamacare site is not going to work. They also know that it's totally illegal. And they know that when it goes to the Supreme Court, even uh, basically they violated the rules. They said specifically that it is a tax. They are not fees. So and uh, and there is no authority to collect taxes. Mm -hmm. so, so it's just a mess. It's, as we predicted, I think five years ago when you elected Obama, things were going to get worse in this nation, not better. Because my family is from Cicero, folks. They know about the guys in Chicago, and they knew about Obama. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. But uh, you know, actually, we can do it with the simple thing from Mark Twain: that you seldom if ever get the. Uh, the government you want, but you always get the one you absolutely deserve. No, otherwise you have to wait for uh, the group. Yeah. 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 Yeah